Hey everyone, this is Kat, and it was actually requested that I do a video on Voodoo that also includes a mild tutorial. So, you can get Voodoo from curse uh, from curse.com. I use the curse client, but I will link I will link the website that you can get it from in my description. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoy it. With Voodoo, the first thing that you do after you have it installed is you do slash and then type in Voodoo B U H D O. Oh wait. Voodoo oh. Open? They changed it. One sec. Ah. Voodoo Ot. And that should actually open up okay, if that doesn't work, you can actually find the little picture that looks like a Dernai left click and that opens it up it's on your mini map and you would set up all your settings click on spells to set up your spells like my left button is heal the right button is or er, left button is flash heal right button is heal the, my metal mouse button would be desperate prayer button four which I never use button 4 and button 5. Because, yeah. Anyways. Actually. See? There you go. Once you have all that set up, you do click. And you can just heal away. and everything. Now we will go ahead and discuss why I use Voodoo as part of this video. <clears throat> I use Voodoo because it makes healing easier for me. Yeah, some might say that I'm a bad healer because I use it. You know what? I'm a bad healer without it. You do not want me healing without it. I recommend having a backup like Click if Click works for you. I use Healbot as a backup because sometimes and you can't exactly reload in those settings all the time, so in which case you would then open up Healbot. No problem. But really, you can also set up like a tank bar. As you can see, I have one set up, so if I'm in a group, it shows me who my tanks are. You know, and I can use that to watch the tank's health. I normally keep my bars right near my character so I can see if she's standing and stuff. I also use GTFO, which will let me know as well. Because for me to go all the way up here, click on my character, just to cast a spell, I have Voodoo set up to target and heal. I'll show y'all what option to do for that one if y'all want when it uh, targets. The miscellaneous. Mi if you go under, click the spells tab, hit miscellaneous, and underneath miscellaneous right there, just put a check mark and target. By default, it's not there. And then if you go to heal something else, <coughs> then yeah. And that works great, like, if I'm on my Shaman, it targets, I can use this to target my tank, and then put Earth Shield on, on that tank, by scrolling down there and clicking the button. I know, I'm just randomly wasting time casting spells. <coughs> so... Now, there are some things that Voodoo won't necessarily do, like, if you need to put down your light well, I always drop it close by my character because it's more convenient. With Sanctuary, I always drop it further away from me. Divine Star. You can set it up to use Power Word Shield if you like. With me, I don't use that because, you know... You can also get Voodoo to watch buffs for you. I'll show you how to do that. Click on the buffs tab and it and just put a check mark in the buffs that you want it to watch. And then what I happen is let's say I'm missing Power Word Fortitude. 
and you see right here it will actually show now voodoo recommends this chakra but I never really use that chakra but you can actually change the shock chak chakra so if I want to use the sanctuary chakra then there we go and now I have it watching my buffs and then all I have to do is click on it Uh, I really don't need it to watch Levitate. I was just doing that to show you an example. So, you can also remove them anytime. You can even have it set up to trigger your trinkets. However, that does make... I've, I've run into glitches with that because it can't engage your world cooldown. If it does, then... You know, it actually, believe it or not, that actually will glitch out Voodoo. I do not recommend you having it trigger your trinkets. But if you can figure out a way to work. And for the keybinders, you can also set up Voodoo to do keybinding for you. So. You can also tell it when to hide panels, like if you don't want to have the panels when you're soloing or in a party. And you can hide those. Sometimes if you make changes, when you go to exit out of it, it will actually tell you, Hey, you made some changes. Do you want to discard these? Like watch. Let's see here. Let's uncheck that. See, it says you made a total of one setup changes. You really want to discard them. I'm going to say yes, because I like to lock the panels when I'm in flight. And look, I... Oh, my light well is immune to heals. So, you can see how... And if you're on a shaman using... Setting it up for Earth Shield, you can actually tell it which tank to watch. And this way, like, all you would do is underneath, like here where it says on player name, you just click on that, and you would enter in, like, you know, whatever tank person, or whatever person you wanted it to watch. And then it would watch that specific person. So when I'm on my shaman, I always ask it if I'm raiding, you know, which tank they want my earth shield on. So, hopefully my video is informative enough for you. I don't know what else I could possibly say about Voodoo, but I'm open to questions. If you have any questions about it or anything like that, please ask in the comments and I will answer them. If I get a lot of questions, then I will actually do another video that will answer all the questions. So, you know, especially if it's going to be a long answer, then it might be answered in a video. So keep watch. Ask any questions that you might have, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And if you like my video, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm at last time I checked yesterday, I was at 118 subscribers, which I'm very grateful for. Thank you to my subscribers. And well, feel free to share my video. And y'all have a wonderful day.